Hello everyone, I am Vikas from Small Academy and I welcome you to another video on Android note taking application development with Firebase. So in the last video we created the edit node activity and we updated node we updated our node to the Firebase and displayed that in the main activity where our nodes are displayed in the recycler view. All right. So in this video, as I promised in the last one, I told you guys that we're gonna start working on the pop-up menu. So that pop-up menu have two options, edit and delete option. And if user click on one of those options, it's going to perform the action accordingly based on the menu item is clicked on the pop-up menu. So let me show you what I'm talking about in the final application that we're going to build. So I'm going to open the final application that we have here. Okay, so this is the final application. And if I click on this pop-up menu here, it's going to display two options. So one is edit and another one is delete. All right. So if I click on edit, it's going to send me to the it's edit activity. And if I click on delete option, it's going to delete that node from here. All right. Just like that. So now we're going to implement that. So let me open the Android Studio and uh, in the Android Studio, we will implement that in main activity. So let me go to close this opened file and I'm going to go to the main activity here. Okay. So we're going to implement that inside the on bind view holder because here. Okay. So this is our on bind view holder and we are, we are also handling the on click on our item as well here. So here I'm going to create one more image view because if I go to the node view layout here, and this is the layout that we used for the custom layout for our recycler view item, if you remember. And this is the uh, menu icon I'm talking about. And if you see here, it is image view. So we need image view variable to handle the click on this. First, we need to get the external resources from this recycler view. And after that, we can handle the click on this menu button. Okay, menu icon. So let me go back to the main activity here. So since that menu icon is image, I want to create one image view here. Okay, just after this on click listener. So create new image view, image view. And I'm gonna name the variable as menu icon. And now I need to get the XML resources. But to get the XML resources, I need to use the node view holder. And the view variable that we have created inside the view holder and this view contains the actual view of our layout so we need to inflate that we need to get that and use using that view we can get the resource of get the resources that present inside that particular view okay so view now here i can use find view by id r.id and the variable name is menu icon okay so this image has the uh, ID of menu icon here. That's why I'm using the menu icon to get this three dot image. Okay. Now I'm going to set the on click listener on this menu icon. So menu icon dot set on click listener and new on click listener. Now it's going to implement the on click listener for us. And now for now I'm going to display some message just to check if this is working or not. Afterward, we'll implement the pop-up menu that will displayed in our main activity. Okay. For now, let's create a toast message that resp that displays whenever somebody click on that icon, three dot icon. Okay. I'm just going to display the message clicked, and I'm going to run this application to show you guys. Okay. So this is our note. Now, if I click on this. A three dot icon here it's going to display message got clicked because we have handled that on click event listener here inside this on click method here so now i what i want to do is i want to display that pop-up menu i'm talking about whenever somebody click on this menu for each and every item present here in the recycler view okay so let's do that and uh, to create the pop-up menu we can use the pop-up menu class okay from the android widget and now pop-up menu give the variable menu new pop-up menu okay now inside this we need to pass the context so v dot get context 
and we also need to pass the view again now i want to add the menu item in, inside this pop-up menu so to add the menu item i can uh, call the get menu method here and i'm going to i'm going to call the add method from this get menu and here i need to pass the two parameters first one is the title if you don't want to you know handle if somebody click on this edit button you can leave it here as well you don't need to pass any other thing but i also want to handle the click on this menu button so here i'm going to um, call the on click listener so so here on menu item click listener so set on menu item click listener and i'm we will create the new menu item on click listener and inside this we'll have this on menu item click method and inside this we can call the we can perform the operations when somebody click on this edit button so for now i'm just going to display the toast message that says edit button clicked okay now similarly i also want the delete button so i'm gonna add the one more menu item using the same method so get menu dot add and delete dot set on item click listener new on click listener on the menu item okay and inside this i'm going to display the toast message as well that says delete button clicked okay now i need to close this here and finally we will show the pop-up message so menu dot show sorry okay so it's going to display the pop-up menu whenever we click on that three button icon okay so i'm gonna run this applications and show you guys okay the app is running now and now if i click on this three dot here it's going to display this pop-up menu and if i click on any of this it's going to display that whichever button is clicked the message accordingly all right so uh now i also want to set the gravity for this pop-up menu because it is overlapping here so i want to start this menu whenever somebody click on this just after this note okay to do that i can set the gravity in our menu object here so menu dot set gravity and here i can give the gravity dot end okay you can also give a start or other available options it's your choice you can experiment with that so i'm gonna run this again okay now if i click on this it's going to open the menu from here okay in this side okay so that is what exactly i wanted so now let's go ahead and implement this edit and delete button so whenever somebody click on edit button i want to send them to the edit activity so to do that um if you remember in edit activity we are also sending the note id title and the content from the note details activity so i can go to the note details activity here and i can copy the same block of code that we use to send the to send the user from node details activity to the node edit node activity so let's copy this from here and go back to the main activity and paste this data here and now we need to fix few things here so first things we don't have this data so i'm going to delete this and we also don't have the view here so we instead we will use the b in this block of code we need to make few changes because we don't have the view here instead we have view b as a view and we also need to make this final so let's make this final and now we are not extracting the data from the intent actually we can extract data here inside this on bind view holder from the class that we have here that is node class okay so i'm gonna pass the node dot get title for the title and for the content i'm going to use the same node class object and get content and now we also need the node id because if you remember in the edit node activity we are modifying the node and to get the node from the collections we need the node id all right so for that we need to have the node id created so i'm going to create new variable here so string i'm gonna name the variable as doc id and now i can use node adapter to get the current snapshot that is clicked by the user and get snapshot 
with the current position and now I can use the ID, get ID method to extract the ID of that and I'll make this final as well and now here I can use the doc ID string to pass the not ID okay so it should uh, send the user to the edit node activity with this title of the node content of the node and the ID of the node so that we can perform other activity so I'm gonna run this application and uh, we'll go ahead and see if this edit button is working or not okay we are on the main activity now I wanna click on any of this node and now if I click on the click on this edit menu here it should send me to the no edit node activity so let me click on that and now we are here in the edit node activity okay now if I modify any of this content it should update that into the Firebase database and reflect in the main activity so let's do that click on save and let's go back and you can see the node is modified okay now let's go ahead and implement this delete node so for the delete node we have this on menu on menu item click method here and inside we are going to delete the node okay so to delete the node we also need the reference to the particular node present inside the nodes collection okay if you remember we have the firestore collection called nodes and inside that we are storing our nodes created by the users okay so now we need the reference to the particular node and that reference can be uh, extracted by using the note id so we already have this note id here so i can use this same note id to get the reference to that particular node and we can use delete method of firebase to delete that okay so let, let me go ahead and show you guys what i'm talking about here so first thing we need is a document reference but before that let me check if we have the firestore database reference here yes we do so let's go back here and create the document reference so document reference doc ref now I need to use the firestore reference here and I'll go to the collection notes and now I'll get the document and inside this I'll pass the doc ID as a parameter because doc ID is the document that we want to delete or note that we want to delete now I can use doc ref dot delete option okay so this delete meta method is going to go inside this collection called notes and it's going to find the document with the given ID and it's going to delete that now I'll add the event listener here so in the event of success or failure we'll display some message to the user or perform some operation so first thing I want I want to add is success listener so if the note is deleted successfully I will uh, I will not display anything because it's going to remove from the recycle view so we'll just display the message not deleted or add the comment that says not deleted okay but in other case I'll add the failure listener new on failure listener or I will display toast to the user that note there is there, there has been some error in deleting note so okay error in deleting note okay so close this and now if I run this application again now we'll be able to delete the node from our recycler view so let's do that okay now we have the this nodes here so I'm gonna click on any of this and click on delete and it should delete from here we can do that multiple times okay it's going to delete all the nodes so guys this is how we implement the pop-up menu in recycler view and uh, perform various operations with the firebase database okay so this is it for this video and uh, from the next video we will implement the authentication so i hope to see you guys there in the next video and if you haven't like subscribe or share this video please do so it will help me to get to the much bigger audience than we already have so okay so i will see you in the next video for now bye bye have a good day